So I ordered something from Amazon and it just came in the mail. I wonder what it is. Can you tell? I find that so interesting how they just have it written on the side of the box. I guess that they have to do that for the warehouse that they're shipped that they're shipped from because they probably have thousands of items there and it's good just to have the product on the side. But yes, it is just a trailer for my tricycle. This will help me move the stuff to my new place, especially the stuff that I have in boxes like that. I'll probably keep these this stuff in the boxes just to help organize it, but then I'll have another one in just an empty box that I'll get, just another one of these. And whenever I'm transferring things, I'll put stuff like my computers into that box and move it, take it out. So that box will be will have a bunch of stuff go into it, but it, it'll be like I'll take loads of stuff in different batches in that single box, but then keep the stuff in these. Well, I say let's let's open it up and try to put it together. It should be pretty foolproof. That's interesting. Evidently, these go inside of here to allow these wheels to be quickly disconnected. That's interesting. And finally comes the weird blinking mechanism. Bent. That's a shame. Looks like something crushed this tube here. Maybe it's supposed to be stiff though, who knows. So there we go. This is a weird linking mechanism. Basically it's meant to bolt onto the bicycle wheel, but it's it's at such a weird angle, it's, it's stupid. It's probably made the wrong way. This is so, supposed to be up and down, I think. Yeah, well. The trailer's a little bit smaller than I expected, but it'll do fine. It'll fit one of these bins at least and I don't really need to be carrying much more than that anyway now I'm gonna have to adapt it to fit onto my tricycle thankfully I bought some brackets at Home Depot to help me do that okay yep that definitely is crooked but oh well it's only a hundred dollars usually can't get even shit made for a hundred dollars especially when it's bike related but oh well so I'm going to make a bracket to hold it up like this. Unfortunately, that means that it's going to be at a really high angle. I'd like for it to be flat, but being like this, I guess it's good enough. The bracket I'm going to build is basically this. It's going to sit up like that. It's going to allow a bolting place right here. See, this is normally meant to bolt onto the back wheel of your bicycle. But in this case, I'm just going to bolt it onto this bracket, which will then be screwed into the bottom of my basket underneath the metal rack thing so it will be secured pretty pretty strongly
that's so shitty. But it should do. So there we have it. It seems to work okay. There's a spring to help give some forgiveness there. And, well, I say let's go give it a little run. say let's see how it handles with like a 45 pound box on the back no strap either because i'm thinking maybe having no strap would be okay for this short run because it has a really high wall You know, I think it handled it pretty well. A lot better than I thought, especially since it has this shitty bentness to it. But oh well. Oh right, I never actually connected to this other one back there. Oh well. You know what? I think I'll dub this E-Track version 1.7, because being able to haul stuff, that's pretty cool. I plan on making my own trailer someday. I mean, making your own trailer is the best option, but if you really need to move something, I'd say this is this is a good, cheap option. Especially if you have a welder and can do and can modify it to be however you want. And interestingly enough, this pin pops out. Or at least it should. So, pops off like that. I'm pretty happy with that. That was a pretty good spur of the moment thing. I just ordered it like two days ago. So yeah, this is a cheap piece of crap, but it's a very interesting frame. If you happen to get one, I think it would be a very good start for an upgrade. Just to upgrade it to have whatever hitch or whatever thing you need on it quite happy with it. I think it'll do very well with helping me move out of the garage here. I'm kind of at a loss for filming this video. It seems like it's been really short, but well, I guess sometimes videos can be short. That was version 1.7 of my electric tricycle, and that's my new trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!